Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to work on week 34 in my 2022 Project Life album. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to use this week and I was kind of looking through my stash uh, and I came across this. This is the Flea Market Findings 2 uh, kit from Citrus Twist. Now I've kind of used bits and pieces um, of this kit like it was part of my design team um, assignments and so I got the kit in kind of pieces and so I have never actually opened the papers or the cards so I've got a full set of papers and cards so I decided that I would use this kit I know I've quite heavily delved into some of the embellishments but the cards are so pretty look at all this pink um, it's spring here you can see my first blossom photos up there there was a whole lot of pink in my photos I decided just to kind of embrace it so I've started with a very pink um, card for my title card and then I picked out this floral uh, for my bottom four by six I picked this one like there's a few florals in there and there's a few other kind of pink papers in there I picked this one because it had some other colors in there predominantly kind of yellows and greens there's a little bit of blue um, just to stop it being like too pink because I also pulled out um, that sentiment card is so cute you only live once look the bowl uh, and I decided just to do a little filler card to fill in my other spot I kind of had like a lack of photos this week there was only a few we had some kind of major sort of things going on this week and so I've done a lot of my journaling elsewhere so this week is kind of just going to be a pretty fun photo heavy spread. So like I said I've been through these die cuts a few times now so I'm kind of at the tail end of it. I mean there's always heaps of die cuts in these packs but I've used all the ones that I liked so far so I'm going back through and I'm just pulling out a few not like a heap and I don't end up using like half the ones that I pull out I liked that scripty word here for my spring photo um, and I've pulled out a few to make kind of an embellishment card and the rest I'm not even sure that I use half of them so they're kind of just like basics if I want to do some stamping or journaling or that sort of thing so again with the puffy stickers I've used quite a few and so I'm trying to find ones that aren't like super specific to the photos here. I'm just going to start in the end. I was kind of feeling that feeling where there's too many choices. So I've decided just to start. I'm going to start on this 3x4 card here. I have got a puffy sticker that I pulled off and I was going to just stick it down. I decided just to just to slow down a little bit and see whether there was any kind of stamps that I wanted to use as well. So I've got this Vintage Love stamp set which is one of my latest faves. I just love it but it actually works really nicely with this kit too. All a little bit kind of vintage -y themed but you can see on here so so many stamp options. I'm using some of these kind of boxed words. Um, I used one directly on my photo with my puffy sticker. I loved how that looked so I'm gonna kind of do it again. When I'm stamping, I'm stamping directly on my photos. I'm either using Memento Tuxedo Black or this Brilliance Moonlight White and then I'm placing a puffy sticker down over top but covering up just that line, the one line, so it kind of has that layered look like the stamp is underneath it or like the lines are coming out from the puffy stickers. So the second time I did that on that photo of Lil and Shane I used a different type of puffy sticker so although it's kind of the same recipe I'm doing things a little bit differently and here I'm going to do it the third time. This time though instead of the puffy sticker I am going to use that uh, scripty die cut. I'm just going to punch out the little pieces from in between the um the scribbly font um, and then I go ahead and glue that down onto my photo so I'm just going to use some smart glue from scrapbook.com and I've just placed it I kind of placed it more so it was centered on the stamp which meant that the little tail end of the E was hanging off the photo so I just trimmed that down. Now this little tag I pulled out really just as a place to kind of add an embellishment on quite a busy background of my photo. I don't intend to use the little floral piece though so I am trying to just make that straight enough and 
cut that sort of bottom half with the florals on there. I'll just keep that for later. Uh, and I decided it kind of gave me a good place to add some stamping. So I can, like, obviously and have stamped directly on my photo, but this is a super busy background and you wouldn't really have seen it. So I just stamped my happy place, stamped it three times there just to kind of make sure it was a little bit darker. And then I wanted to add something in underneath it. It wasn't really an appropriate puffy sticker. And as soon as I pulled up those like tiny word stamps, uh, stamps, <laughs> sentiments, sorry, the, the yellow stickers, there was the perfect one there. So I just popped that underneath and I really loved that extra little piece of yellow. It was super cute. So really to do the same thing on this photo, like it's a very kind of busy background, I need something to add, well it's not really a kind of a title, not really a sentiment kind of a title, uh, I wanted something for it to kind of stand out on the background. So I've swapped places, I pulled up that blue tag that did come in the kit, I love it, it's such a pretty kind of muted colour, but it gives me the perfect background to add in these little tiny uh, litter stickers. Um, they're not part of the actual kit, they're just from my stash. But I like the neutral background, especially with so much colour going on. Um, and then they've got that same teal green that I've used in that kind of stickers there. So there's little pops of different colours in here, even though there's, there's a lot of pink going on. So I didn't really measure that particularly well and I'm kind of glad I didn't. I thought that I would have that whole title just on the tag but the S slipped onto my photo but I kind of like how that tied it all together. So I added an extra puffy sticker to do the same thing just to tie the tag into the photo. Now really all I've got left to do or all I really want to do is put together kind of a really quick little filler embellishment card. I really wanted to use this doily. One, because it's a pink, so it works nicely with this spread. But two, I don't often use doilies, so if this goes into my stash, I possibly will never use it again. Use it now, or it will be lost to the craft room. So I'm just going to use it as a background layering piece. I really love this wood grain journal card, and it kind of had a fun little chevron to it, so that was a nice difference too. The flea market kit comes with these three different ribbons. So one of them was a lace, but it's got the self-adhesive backing on it, which is super, super fun. Um, so I just tore that off, well, trimmed it off, and stuck that onto the card, layered up with a couple of embellishments. And I didn't really have a focal point on here, so I decided to go with a little chipboard. I liked the yellow kind of as a contrast to the pink and the blue on the card. It's a little bit brighter, um, which I really liked, but I mean, lemonade kind of had nothing to do with it. So I pulled out these little tiny word stickers again and found almost like the perfect sentiment. Uh, but then it was too much yellow <laughs> with that lemonade sticker, so I... Just had a quick look to see whether I could pull off the lemonade sticker, and I did. So even though I've trimmed it, I mean, it's not really a huge issue. I'm sure I'll be able to use it elsewhere. I just really wanted to use this yellow sentiment. It still gives me the color, but um, it's not overwhelming with the lemon sticker. Instead, I'm going to use that little um, floral die cut as kind of the focal point and just add a couple of the enamel dots to go along with it. You can see they're quite a bit darker, so they do draw the attention to the sentiment on the card. So that's really about it. I've got to do a title card, and I was intending just to kind of keep it a little bit simpler and maybe just stamp my uh, title onto here. But I felt like with that uh, heavily embellished filler card, it just needed something kind of similar to balance it out. So I've got... Oh, and it's not even kind of the same, but the tag down there with the little title and the puffy sticker, that kind of takes quite a lot of visual dominance, as does that filler card. And so just to add that third um, sort of focal point on the card, I'm just going to layer up a few pieces. Like it's not not anything complicated at all. A couple of die cuts. Well, one is this one here is the pink label actually came out of the journaling card. Uh, I just trimmed it out because it was pink. <laughs> it gave me a pink label. And I used another one of the trims from the kit, which was this yellow. It's kind of a suede fabric. So I decided to use the liquid adhesive on there as well. 
Um, and then the blue alphas come in the kit, but I've already used just about all the E's. So I've gone to my next favorite. And these are these rose gold ones. I think they're still available in the shop. I'll link everything down below for you. They are the most gorgeous color. And I know I haven't used kind of a metallic anywhere else in the spread, but they're kind of pink. And they definitely read pink. You can see on the pink background, they definitely read pink. Um, pink metallic so super gorgeous I decided to add in the numbers using those tiny alpha stickers though to again kind of give a little bit of consistency stamped my dates on there and again same thing I'm going to add a couple of enamel dots on here just to tie in some of those kind of additional things that I've added and have only used once so that's my spread. It's totally bright. It's totally springy and I totally love it. This kit is just the cutest. Hey, thanks for watching today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to leave a couple videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you again really soon. Bye.